It's time for scary critters to startle us at home and in the bee yard. Oh. Working in bee yards around Greenwich, New York, all year round, being outdoors gives us the chance to see lots of wildlife, some of it actually inside our beehives. Though some of the insects, spiders, and larger animals can be surprising, not many are really harmful. This isn't true in all areas with all creatures. For example, in the small area of the Pacific Northwest, which now has the Asian giant hornet. By far, the non-honeybee creatures we see the most are spiders. We see a lot of orb weaver spiders. Some of them I couldn't identify. Please let me know if you know what these are. Check out this cool web with a rainbow effect as we move past it. Sometimes it's their webs that are the most eye-catching and seem to just be set up for photographic opportunities. That praying mantis is eating one of my bees. That's okay. She's hungry after laying this giant pile of eggs. Sometimes praying mantises eat our honeybees, but sometimes they eat yellow jackets too. Here's a big dragonfly resting on Osmar's veil. They may also eat a few bees. A strong colony of bees will kill yellow jackets or other invaders. A carpenter bee chewed this hole in an unpainted hive box and got a surprise when it busted through. The bees will drag that body out soon. Daddy long legs, crickets, and earwigs are all critters who clean up stuff. They don't harm any bees. They just eat junk that's left around. Ants of various kinds may live between the covers. They usually don't bother bees. They just want a place to live. But sometimes they do chew into the styrofoam insulation. It's important to paint any polystyrene equipment. These carpenter ants were found under a hive. Do you see the queen carpenter ant? Now look at this beetle, an eyed click beetle, who might startle you with a clicking noise. This beetle is the American oil beetle, and those orange drops on its joints could burn your hands if you touch him. This big green caterpillar will turn into an io moth, and this one will turn into a cecropia moth. See that smooth green thing under the edge of the outer cover? That's a chrysalis with a monarch butterfly developing inside. A butterfly in a chrysalis or a moth in its cocoon is very much like a bee developing under the cappings. I almost missed this tiny toad, but the painted turtle came right past us. This little guy is a red eft, the land stage of the eastern red spotted newt. Mice should be kept out with a metal mouse guard. They can destroy combs. I felt pretty lucky to see this fox family in the yard. This is a walking stick, an insect that eats leaves. And here's a katydid, another large insect that eats leaves. That pallet windbreak in the background was the home to a nest full of robins. And here's a black-capped chickadee 
getting some bees that had flown out in the winter to get a cleansing flight. I don't begrudge him his snack. Even in the winter, when we're checking out the hives or doing oxalic acid treatments, it's possible to see some inspiring wildlife. I hope the critters you see near your bee yard are not scary, and they might even help you relax.